Okay, welcome to another uh, programming exam solution tutorial. To prepare you for the paper one for this year's AQA computer science exam. Uh, hopefully you know it's AQA text adventures and on this particular video we're going to look at uh, how to drop an item. Okay, usual assumptions. I really hope you've got the code by now. You've played with the game files, you've looked at my other videos, uh, you're familiar with the AQA pre-release material and you know how to play the game, so I'm not going to go any of that. You also really ought to be familiar with the structures within the code. So, uh, particularly location, character, so not location, place, character and items. So in order to drop an item, we need to make just two changes to the code. Uh, by the way, you will always be given that as a suggestion. So if we have a look at, uh, this is something I set for um, mock, and I think I based it on something from the AQA wiki book. So it's obviously not an AQA wiki book, sorry, the wiki book that, uh, for the AQA computer science. Uh, if you just Google AQA computer science wiki book, it will come up and there's uh, lots and lots and lots of good suggestions there. Uh, but this is, I've tried to make it, very much like the style of the real exam and hopefully you've done predator prey and possibly words with AQA uh, in the past so that you've you've done some past scenarios so you know how it works and this is very much the style that uh, is likely to be where they actually are pretty clear about what you need to do there's going to be a change to play game and there's going to be a new procedure created and it gives you various tasks and then it gives you very, very specific uh, testing. So, I mean, this isn't perfect by any means, but it's it's fairly close to what the real exam will be like. So the two changes you need to make, we've got to create a new sub-procedure called drop item. And we need to add a new case statement to play game, which, we're, which we'll just call that new procedure. Okay, let's just remind ourselves a couple of things. Uh, an item has these properties. IDs are these ranges. And crucially, um, crucially, the characters uh, that you are, your inventory is effectively location 1001. So that's, that's kind of important. Okay, let's create your item. What are we going to do? Uh, Normally, you've got something to go on. So if you're in the exam and you're being asked to do something and you really don't know where to stop, start, have a look for a similar, similar function and procedure. And get item is really similar. If you have a look at get item now, you'll see that there's, a, a, there's something that gets the index of an item. If I'm honest, you could get by without the index. But it'd be really, really, really hard to avoid out of range exceptions. Uh, and it'd be really, it'll be, it makes it makes life a lot easier. Apart from anything else, there's already a function to get the index of the item. So you type in a name and it returns the index. Uh, the function actually does it the other way. You can type in an index and it gets the name. But uh, we're, we're just going to use it to uh, type, in uh, type in a name and it will get the index. Uh, we need to carefully validate that, but again, thankfully, get item already has that validation, so we just copy and paste it. Um, and then we're going to use another function called change location of item. And all we're going to do is the item that we want to drop, we're going to change it from our location, which is 1001, our inventory, to the location, current location of the character. So the example would be, uh, I'll drop an item in the blue room. So it goes from uh, location 1001 to location 1. Right, let's have a look at the code. Um, right, so I've, I've made a start. We've got a, a new sub procedure called drop item, and I'm going to pass three parameters. Uh, Get item has got four as it happens, because if you get the flag, it needs to know that you've won. If you're dropping an item, 
you don't need to know that. So we need to pass it the full items list, the item that we'd like to drop, and our current location. So after that, um, let's let's work out the index of the item. So we'll create an index of item as a local variable. We don't need to use it anywhere else. How much the index of item? And um, we'll, we'll get the index of item. So basically, we'll pass it the name, so Apple, and the list, and it will return that. This negative one is effectively if we wish to use this. Um, function to get the name of an item from its index I would pass in the index here and I, this is a, uh, I think it's a by ref that I would then be able to review so once we've got this index this will either be the index of the item or it will be negative one if the item isn't in the list so that makes our life a little bit more easier because we can now uh, validate is that a valid item so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a boolean to say if it is a valid item then we can drop it if it's not a valid item then we can't drop it so uh, again I'm mirroring uh, the get item here and this is a simplified version of get item because there's less things to go wrong but the basic gist is if the index is negative one, it's not an item in the items list. So we'll return that. If the index of the item, if its location is not 1001, then I can't drop it. So for instance, let's say at the start of the game, I say drop torch. Well, torch is an item, but it's not in my inventory, so I can't drop it. If those two things aren't true, I'm going to assume there's nothing else that can go wrong. So I'm going to say can drop is true. And this is a direct mirror of get item. But there's a few more things to go wrong. So that's got bigger validation. OK, so we've now established that it is a droppable item. So if it is a droppable item, we need to do the next thing. doing okay uh, if I can drop it then all I've got to do is call change location of item pass it the list pass it the index and give it the uh, location ID that I wish to change the location of the item to so current location which we passed in here will be the the current location of the character and if we drop it we ought to give the message you have dropped the item and that's pretty much it drop item okay so that's that's going to work Oops. Um, so now that we've got this drop item we really need to add a case statement to play game and I've already done this case drop make sure you lose our cases I'm going to call drop item give it the items list I'm assuming you know what it is I really hope you understand what instruction is if you've uh, already watched my videos you'll know that I talk about extract uh, in uh, extract instruction and you know that the command is effectively split into two so drop is extracted in command and this instruction here is a by ref and this is the, this is effectively the item that's due to be dropped so if i type in drop apple drop gets extracted and called here through command and apple gets placed into instruction it's terrible naming of variables but who cares character zero is us and so character zero dot current location is um, is going to be our current location number which in the start of the game is one so that's the whole shebang I really hope it works let's give it a test and what we'll do is we will try dropping something that doesn't exist we'll try dropping 
something we don't have and we will also try dropping a real thing so flag one oops there's it flag one boom so let's drop the torch oh let's, let's drop the torch we don't have this so it shouldn't work don't have the torch drop BFG we don't have one of those and in fact that's not even an item on the list so let's uh, drop oh. wonderful um, so now if we have a look at our inventory you can see the apple has disappeared and if I just scroll down a smidge, oops. if I now go get Apple, it should be in the room. So we've got that sound inventory again. We've got the Apple, and uh, you can see that's working. Uh, let's just make sure that we can get a torch and where is my screen again it should be and you can see we're, we're able to pick up and drop things uh, as we wish I suppose um, the ultimate test would be to drop the apple and uh, what colour is the door? I've forgotten. Green door. Okay, and as you can see, we've now got uh, an apple on the floor where we wouldn't have had before. I'm assuming you know the game. Okay, so that's drop an item. Uh, the nice thing is that if you were to uh, try, say, and go for the eat item, which is an obvious one for the apple, it's a really, really, really similar uh, procedure. You add a case for eat. You create a procedure, you pass it similar items, and then you just make a change so that, that uh, item location is no longer in your inventory. Uh, the only difference for each item would be, of course, where, where would you then put the apple? Do you actually remove it from the list? That's possible, but that's another video. I really, really hope you found that useful. Hope you found the, the rest of the videos useful. A few of you have asked me to create more videos. Um, that's fine, but tell me what you want. Uh, I plan to create about another four or five. But if you want something specific, please feel free to ask. I uh, hope you're all revising hard. Hope you're getting really used to this code. And uh, I look forward to speaking to you in my next video.